Hi guys, Vicki with Get Messy and Now. I hope everybody's enjoying this beautiful sunny day today. Um, we're going to be doing a llama painting, which is really super cute. Um, and I'm going to take you step by step through it. Um, so I'm going to set up there now and you guys get your things together. You will need your paint, your paintbrush. If you have any paintbrushes at home that you'd like to use, feel free to use those too. Um, your canvas, a cup of warm water, and a piece of paper towel. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this now and set up, and I'll see you back here in a sec. All right, so um, I already have my first coat on here, just because I wanted to show you guys um, what it's going to look like. So I'm going to show you now how I got this effect using your brush. You're going to dip your brush into your uh, water and then just dab it off on a piece of paper towel. We want our brush to be a little bit damp when we start because it's very hard to pull on a dry brush. Now you don't want it too wet because if it's too wet then your paint is going to run. So you just want your brush to be damp to start. And what I did was dipped into my white and then I dipped into my blue. So see how I have those two colors on my brush? And what this does is it gives you a two-tone effect rather than mixing the two colors and creating a light blue. So all you're going to do is start from one end of your canvas, taking your brush from one end right to the very end, and come back down again. And you're just going to continue this all the way over. Now if you need to do two coats, you can. Sometimes I find um, on a new canvas, um, it just eats up the paint. So you'll have to use a fair bit of it on that first coat. But if you get a good coverage all your way over, then you shouldn't need a second coat. So like I said, you're going to dip into your white, dip into your blue. And you're just going to go from one end right to the top. And you're going to pull your brush. And don't spend too much time on it because... Um, it'll just blend into a, a lighter blue, which is not what we want. We want to get this two-tone effect all the way over. And don't forget to go around your sides as well, your top, your side, and your bottom, and that's what gives it a finished look when you hang it on the wall. So you guys go ahead and work on that, and take your time. Blending is actually very fun, and you can um, see where your paint uh, works, how your paint works, sorry, and how it blends with your paintbrush. So once you've gotten all the way over to the end and you have full coverage, <coughs> um, we're just going to let this dry um, because we're going to have to paint over it. And we don't want that blue paint to be wet because when we try to paint the white of the llama, that blue is going to shine through. So if you want to go ahead and pause this video, you can. That's what I like about these YouTube videos. So you can pause and uh, create your background all the way from one end to the other. Uh, full coverage and make sure you do your sides, your top, your side, and your bottom and make sure it's completely dry before you continue on with this video. So um, I'm going to pause mine for a minute until it dries because obviously nobody wants to sit here and watch paint dry and I'll come back to you once my canvas is dry. Enjoy! Alright guys, so now that our canvas is dry we're going to paint our llama and how we do this is with um, just the white paint. We don't want too much. Sometimes um, if you glob, it'll take too long to dry. Your best bet is to do two thin coats, or maybe even three if you need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to see whereabouts do I want my llama head. So I think I'm going to go about here, like this. By the looks of it, I think I'm not quite dry underneath. But that's okay, I'm just going to get my shape. But I really want you guys to make sure that yours is dry, because I can fix mine easily. And all we're going to do is like a, a little face there. Just gonna clean off my brush here. And then we're 
gonna come down here and give your llama a shape. So again, this is just his face. And this is going to be his body. And you're just gonna fill all that in. So, it will look like a llama in the end, I promise. Just like this. You just want a general shape. So I think I'm going to make him a little bigger here. And it's always better to start your um, image small and work your way to larger. And again, remember this is just our first coat so we know where to place our llama. I think I'm going to make them a little more round on this side. And then we're going to give them some ears. For the llama ears. Uh, let's see. We'll give him some pointy kind of ears. This and I'm gonna do the same on this side and just give him some ears. I know he might look a little silly right now, but he will look like a llama. I'm just going straight down and then give him like a curved ear, like this, just like that. Like I said, we just want that shape. So we know um, where we want to put our llama. So again, we really want to make sure that this coat of paint is dry so that we don't pull the blue like I have. Um, and like I said, that's okay because I can fix that. Um, so we're going. To, I'm going to pause the video now and again make sure that the llama is completely dry so we can go in and do our second coat. Um, and I'll see you back here in a second. Okay guys, so um, I did a second coat. As you can still see, I'm still pulling that blue. Um, I did think about um, just doing the full coats into white, but then I thought, what if this happens to you guys too? So, um, what I did was I actually used my hair dryer and I went in and I dried the whole thing, uh, making sure it was as, as dry as possible. Then I went back in with the white again, and um, now I'm going to have to do it again. So I did um, dry it with a hair dryer again, and I touched it and made sure it's completely dry. So I'm just going to go back in with the white paint again. I'm going to start with the ears, like this. So the reason I'm doing the ears first, I'll show you, is because... If you get your lines down into the head, we can always cover them up. So now I'm going to go along the top here and just cover in. And we're still going to have to layer on top of this. So again, I'm not too worried about how this looks right now. All we want is to get that shape, that rounded llama shape, so that we can give him some glasses and a bow tie and he's gonna look super cute and like I said I'm just doing a couple of layers and I'm just like I said Covering in what I can until he's as white as I can make him. And if you need to do a few coats, that's okay. There's no rush. Like I said, you can always pause the video. Do your white, dry it, do your white, dry it, do your white, dry it. And sometimes that mixture of color in there is actually kind of beneficial. 
because it can give um, our llama a little bit of depth. All right, so now that I have um, my whole llama white, um, I'm going to take this to the hair dryer and make sure it's completely dry so we can move on to the next step. Um, so I'll see you back here in a second. All right, guys, so for our next step, we're going to give our uh, llama a little bit of fur. So continuing with your white, what we're going to do is you're going to flick the brush out in quick little motions, like this. And you're just going to make your way down here, just kind of giving a little tiny bit of fluff come out, like this. And I'm just doing quick little motions. And I'm going to do that all the way down. And this is why I said um, earlier, it doesn't really matter how your shape of your llama is, we just need that guideline. Because as we go like this, we can widen up our llama if we want to. It's always better to start small and work your way to bigger. So if you think your llama might be a little too slender, then you can always just widen it with some fluff. Just like this all the way down. Just like that. So now he's going to start looking a little bit more like a llama. Like I said, just uh, make your way down like this. We're also going to, what I'm going to do is give him a little bit of fluff on his ears. Not much, I just want the impression that he's a little fluffy. Just like that. Our little fluffy llama. He's going to be pretty cute. And then if you want to go back in for the second coat, you can. Remember, just quick little brush strokes. and kind of shape your llama how you want him to be shaped. Just like that. So next we're going to be using our black. And what we're going to do is mix a gray. So on a paper plate or even the um, a palette or just something, you're going to mix a little bit of black and a little bit of white. You'll probably need more white than black. Black goes a long way. And you're just going to create the gray color. Almost like a medium to light gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the insides of his ears here, like this. And on this side. And I want it to look a little fluffy, so I'm not making it perfect, just like that. And then we're going to do his uh, snout with the same color. For this I'm going to use a smaller brush. And I'm going to use this gray. Figure out where abouts do I want his snout to be. So I think it's going to be here. We're going to need kind of like a more of an oval kind of shape like this. And then we're going to do another. Kind of right here. Just 
seconds, like so. See? Not too hard. And then down here, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. So then we're going to have to wait for that part to dry. And while we're waiting for that part to dry, we're going to do the hair. So with the hair, I'm going to continue to use this gray color that I mixed and the white. So see how I have that white on the tip after that gray? And for this, you can create your own fun hair. Like you might have a bit of a bang here. And then go back in with the white. And you're just going to kind of flick it out just like we did earlier. Give him some wild fun here. Maybe you can give him a mohawk. Whatever kind of hair you want to give him. And just go back and forth until you get the look that you want. So go between your gray and your white. Just like so, flicking that color outward. You might want to go in even with a little bit of black. Remember, black goes a long way, so you don't need much. Just kind of add in some shadow kind of shapes. There. And just go back and forth between your white, your gray, and your black. Now, if you do happen to make a mistake or you're not happy with how it is or it's blending too much, don't worry about it. We're just going to let it dry and then we'll go over it again. So no worries. Um, so next we're going to use the black, just the black by itself, <clears throat> and we're going to create our llama's eyes. So I'm going to use a nice fine tip brush here, and using the black on the tip of my brush, I'm going to create a llama eye. And let's see, probably something like this. Another trick, um, if you don't have a steady hand or a small brush, is to use a sharpie marker. So if you have a sharpie, that's also useful. Keep in mind, the angle I'm trying to work at here is not the easiest. So my proportions might not be the best as I'm painting here, but that's okay too. We're just going to fill that in. So you want your two eyes to be a similar shape. So I'm actually just going to pick this up for a second so I can fix this line here. And kind of even these two eyes out a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit better. Bring this side up a little bit. And again, your eyes can be whatever shape you want them to be. If you want your llama to have rounded eyes, you can have rounded eyes. Um, he's also going to have some glasses on, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Try and fix that line, or it will bug me. There we go. Again, they don't have to be perfect. And then the next step for the black is to outline the nose and do the mouth. 
So around about here where we made our little nose, we're going to do this. But I'm going to bring it up in about the middle like this. And if you're using a Sharpie, just make sure that the paint is dry underneath because if not, your Sharpie's just going to dry out and it won't be any good. So I think I might come up a little bit more like this. The other thing we're going to do now is a line down here for the nose. See, he's starting to look like a llama, kind of. And then for the nose part, I'm going to give some nostrils right here. There we go. So I think you would need probably a fine Sharpie or a fine marker. Because you have to get right in there with the details. And then I'm just going to come along like this. Just like that. See, now it's starting to look like a llama. So a little trick um, for the eyes is I'm going to use the back of my brush. And I'm just going to create some whites. Just like a... Um, like this. And you can even pull your brush down a little bit to create that. And just randomly a few little white parts of the eye like that so it looks more like a reflection so this is the point where we really have to make sure our canvas is dry so we can do the glasses and the bow tie and uh, make him look more like a llama so I'm going to take my canvas to the hair dryer again and dry him off and uh, I'll see you guys back here in a second. Okay, so my llama is nice and dry. Next we're going to use red and we're going to give our llama some glasses. So with the red, I just have a bit of red on my brush here, I'm going to make him a pair of glasses. So I'm just going to come right from one end here, remember to making sure your canvas is dry. Just like this. And just like I said before, you go smaller to bigger. So I just keep going back and forth until I get how thick I want my glasses to be. I'm going to give him some funky frames. Some red fun frames here. Then I'm going to create my glasses shape like this. And you're just going to mimic the same thing on the other side here. And again, if you don't have the steadiest hand and you have a red marker, feel free to use that. And do the same thing. Just kind of keep going over them until you get the thickness that you want. Just taking my time and going around here. Just like that. It's a cool set of glasses. And then I'm just going to connect them right here like this. Like a nose piece. I also came out a little bit further on my sides here. Just like that. 
So if you wanted to add in little bits of other colors to make it look um, three-dimensional, you can. I'll show you that now. So while my red is still a little bit wet, I'm adding a little tiny tip of white and I'm just going to pull it in through here. Just to give it a little bit of like a shine. Just like that. And around this side too. Just like that. So our next thing and our last thing is going to be our bow tie. So using your orange, using your orange and a nice clean brush, making sure you dry it off in your paper towel. And we're going to easiest thing to do here. I might have too much paint on my brush. Where am I going to put my bow tie? So I think I'm going to put it around about right here. And all I'm doing is making the shape. I don't think this is the right brush for the job. There we go. That's why it's nice to have a collection of brushes with you. So you can use all different sizes if you need to. If one doesn't work, try another one. So once I have this center piece, and remember going smaller to larger, I'm just going to keep shaping it until I get the shape that I want. So you want it to kind of be like an oval, but maybe a little more squared off. And then I'm going to create my bow tie. So to the point that I want it to come, right here, give it a rounded end, and then meet it there. And then you're just going to fill it in, just like that. And again, you can play with the shape. If you want your bow tie to be really, really big, you can go really, really big. If you want your bow tie to be smaller, you can make yours smaller. So I'm actually going to reshape because I think I might need it a little bit bigger in the center here. And that's why, like I keep saying, it's so much better to start small and work your way too big. So I will have to pick this up for a second so I could shape this side of my bow tie the same as the other side. That's why it's good to uh, pick up your canvas and move it around so it's easier. Just bear with me a second here guys while I shape my bow tie. I think I might need to make this side a little bit bigger. And you just keep playing with it until you get your bow tie. I think I might even go even bigger with my bow tie because it's not uh, wide enough for me. And then you can always flick it upside down so you could do the same thing on the other side, like so. And this kind of gives you a more, able to give it a more even look. Let's see. There we go. There we go. We're getting there, guys. So you might want to do uh, maybe two coats on your llama. Got on my llama. 
Um, you can do a couple of coats if you like. I think I'm even going to make mine even bigger because that's what makes them so much fun. Is to have quirky glasses and a great big huge bow tie. Oversized bow tie. Just like that. And I'm going to come out even more here. There we go. I think that's a nice big bow tie. But let's go bigger. Why not? Why not? This is where we can over-exaggerate. There we go. So now I'm going to <clears throat> wait for my bow tie to dry. So that way um, <clears throat> um, I can do a second coat on him. Um, this is where if you wanted to do any say little touch-ups around your llama while you're waiting for that to dry. So now I might want to come in, fluff him out just a little bit more. Just like this. Make him a little more fluffy. Just like this. There we go. And remember, you can make your llama your own. Here we go. All right. So I think my orange might be dry enough now that I can go in. And do another coat, maybe not. Alright, so I'm going to take my llama here to the hair dryer so I could dry his bow tie and do a second coat. And I'll see you guys back here in a second. Alright, so what I did was um, waited for my bow tie to dry. I actually used the hair dryer. And then I went in and did a, a second coat of the orange. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give our bow tie a couple of polka dots and um, we're going to do this by using the back of our brush. So I'm using um, a larger brush so I can get a larger polka dot and you're just going to dip the back of your brush in like this and lay it on like this. Dip it in, lay it on, lay it there, and wherever you want nice big polka dots to be. You can do some big ones, some small ones. Just making my way wherever I want to put a polka dot. Just like that. So I think that's enough polka dots for me. Um, so now we really have to make sure this is dry in order to do the last step. So go ahead and get your hair dryers or just wait for it to dry and I'll see you back here in a sec. Alright guys, we're almost there. So using a nice small brush again and my red paint, I'm going to um, go ahead and outline my bow tie. So with a steady hand, you're going to... 
just outline like this all the way around. You just want to take your time. You can go slow. You don't need to go too fast. Nice steady hand for this. I uh, find if I lean my hand, you just have to make sure your paint is dry. But if you steady your hand on the canvas, that helps. And then flip it as you go it makes it easier too if you're not holding on to it. And I'm gonna do this one. There we go. I'm going to go this way to finish it off. Just like that. Some of these lines a little thicker so they're a little more noticeable. There we go. Look how cute our little llama is. How super sweet. So I'm just going to touch up little spots here because I had a cool idea that I might add a little bit of. Um, that orange, maybe? Let's see how that'll work. On the back of my brush. And I'm just going to put two little polka dots here on his glasses. Just to make him kind of look a little matchy-matchy. If you want to decorate your glasses, if you have silver or any other color like that, you can use that. And now just for an added touch at the end here, my nice clean brush. I'm going to dip into that gray that we did earlier and I'm just going to make a few of his strands of hair come out over his glasses. Just like this. And this is where you can add in lots of detail. There we go. Makes them look like a, a little more realistic. So there you go. Hopefully you guys have had fun with me today painting this llama. I had fun. I really like it when everybody kind of thinks outside the box and comes up with their own look. Um, so send us your pictures and uh, on Get Messy uh, on our Get Messy Facebook page, and um, hope to see you uh, and your painting soon. Bye.